stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why where regular practice comes in. Because I often talk about this path to the mountains, like we're in the foothills, you know, and we see liberation or enlightenment or whatever you call that ultimate goal as the big snowy peaks, right? But we're not there yet. We're like in busy with the ups and downs of life, right? Walking up the hills, through the valleys, toward that goal. So already our life is very different from that of most people because most people don't have that goal. So they go up and down too, but they walk in circles. They don't get anywhere much, right? So now we have a goal that gives us direction. We have a compass, an internal compass toward whatever you define as your highest goal. Now, when you go up and down, up is great, down is miserable, and we know what these valleys are for us, right? Now here is, when you go up, you're like the king of your little hill, and everything's wonderful, and then that moment is over, and you're going down, the first step down, and at that moment you forget everything. You forget you ever meditated, you forget you have any kind of heart sourcing experience, you forget anything. It's like possessed, exactly, and what possesses you is the pain body, is that identification with your old pain, and you fall into it head first, except when you have a, a regular practice, because then that practice just comes. You don't remember to do it, but it's just this regular thing, it's just there, it's like, come five o'clock or whatever, you know, you do your thing. And that catches you right there. And you don't have to go all the way, kawabumba, <laughs> into the depth of the valley. You catch yourself there. And you get a little taste of that valley because you need that, because there's a learning experience. But for that learning experience, you don't have to be here. It's actually much harder to live, to learn here because you're in the depth of your pain and your drama. You can learn the same lesson here. And you lift yourself up a little bit. And then it goes down again. And But you cross the valley like this, and not like this. That's the hard way, right? So that's what practice does for you, and you cross it easier and much quicker. So here, again, it's this thing of saving yourself unnecessary suffering. And most suffering is unnecessary. Some is not unnecessary because we need it to be, to have pointed out those parts of us that aren't yet enlightened. So we can become aware there, right? That's why we did this exercise today, right? So you find what bothers you, a pattern, a, a sensation. We worked on the level of, of energies, of, of emotions, right, of body. You find that and you proactively, you don't wait until life triggers it and you're miserable again. No, you look for it. You seek it out. That's practice, right? And then you reduce it by applying these particular skills.